What's going on guys, Expert X95 here today. I'm bringing you some gameplay. We are playing some Kill Confirm on the map Hardhead. This is the first episode of my Road to the Mobe series, in which I try to get a move with every single primary weapon in the game. Not doing the right show. Yet. Yet. That's yet. Guys, calm the fuck down. Um, first gun, we're going straight down the list. The M4A1. I have the M4A1 here right now with the two attachment proficiency and using the silencer and the red dot and one of the main strategies if you don't know already to get into mob is silencer because you need to be a stealthy pervy raping kitty you need to be a ninja you gotta be stealthy you can't have those bitches finding you on the map with your fucking pp90 rapid fire extendo mags it's not smart you need that silencer I understand that it, the silencer can be uh, misconstrued as a weapon of, or as an attachment of campage, or camping, but it is not, it is purely strategy to get a 24, in this case with specialist, or a 25 kill streak just with the gun is really impressive, you need to be able to hide, and in this gameplay you probably don't need one just because, you know, you're playing on a map where everyone's looking directly at you. Every single time I get a kill, people are basically looking straight at me because I am in this little rapage area and people cannot seem to kill me for their fucking lives. And this is the best way to get a mob. I got another mob like this using an LMG. Um, it, it may seem a little bit campy and it probably is, but this is just the smartest way to play this map. People come from here and then inside the tunnel, and then inside, yeah, uh, oh, 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 get turned on. Um, so yeah, they come, people spawn over here, and then they run through this little area with all the uh, barrels. They run to the right here, and then through the tube. And so, if you stay in that little spot, you can kind of head glitch above the ground, and you have decent cover from your right, uh, that little, right here, the square that I'm kind of uh, straddling right here. Um, it's really useful. This bitch ass takes my spot. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill this kid. I don't know how this guy didn't kill me. I thought that was my teammate for a second. I was just like, oh god. Oh my god, shit's got to get real. I'm on my 21 kill streak. It's been like a minute and 30 seconds. I kind of pussied out. That's why I ran away. Because I didn't want to uh, use the mob. Because <clears throat> this was earlier when I didn't have the mini mobs. Um, so yeah, the M4A1, this is a fantastic gun in my opinion. Um, it's just like the. Basically, just like the. Uh, and for a one in Modern Warfare 2, um, because it, it's a very consistent, it's a solid gun. Nothing about it stands out too much. It, it's except that it's consistent. Like it has a decent stat in every category. It has a decent, uh, decent damage from far away. I think it's like a two or three bullet. It's probably a three bullet. It's a three bullet kill from uh, close range and far away. I think I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know these stats at all. I don't look this shit up. But it's it's pretty good from far away. Um, you'll notice here that I'm using intense sensitivity and I'm on all specialists, so that makes it so much more difficult to get these kills. Here I'm just raping. Yeah, this spot right here, this is the easiest place to get high kill streak. I probably have gotten so many high kill streaks like that. The only thing that you have to worry about is grenades and uh, your teammates kind of screwing you over because a lot of people are taking that spot and it's, uh, it's kind of annoying. But, you know, if you're good enough, you can stay in the spot and maintain your uh, your baller status over everyone else and your superiority. You can pull out the move or the high kill streak, whatever you're going for. You guys are stupid, and I'm also stupid because I couldn't move my gun. Yeah. Yeah. So the M4, you know, it's a pretty consistent gun. I wouldn't say not see nothing about it amazes me, so I can't really say that it's like an incredible gun. But at the same time, it's so consistent that it's an incredible gun. <laughs> like, it, nothing about it is bad. It has a it has a really good rate of fire for an assault rifle. It's, it's actually pretty damn good. I would say it's one of the higher um, has one of the higher uh, rates of fire from the assault rifles. Um, its uh, recoil is very very manageable. Right now, I'm not using kick, but if you put kick on, you could definitely definitely manage that. Um, here, I'm just like beast in beast mode. Go ham on these bitches. Um, oh, I died. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's, it's really manageable. Um, like, 
it's it's pretty decent at everything. You can hip fire with it, which I would say is its like second best characteristic. Rate of fire and the hip firing uh, is really really key for this uh, this gun because unlike the Scar H or no, it's a Scar L in this game, um, it has a very good uh, hip fire spread, especially with steady aim. Which really helps a lot in those situations when uh, you can't kill people because it's not powerful enough. Um, so I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being a, uh, a retarded baby with a dead fetus attached to its face, uh, sucking on a lollipop while its hands are in its diaper, trying to secrete, excrete poop from its diapers, which it previously excreted out of its butt crack. Could do at the same time, um, and a ten. Let me think. I can't think of something. Ten would be like trying to hmm, trying to poop out a watermelon while trying to pee out. Uh, hmm, what trying to pee out a walnut and trying to swallow. Oh, cucumber hole. That's that's the equivalent right there. It's physically impossible. Um, and I would say the M4 is probably a two or a three. Uh, it, it's really not that hard. It's it's pretty good. You don't you, you probably run out of ammo pretty fast with this gun because you have to fire lots of bullets because it is not the most powerful gun in the game. But um, because you can play in course, you can. Uh, you know, compete in close quarters combat with uh, SMGs and that kind of stuff, you can run out there and try to get your scav packs back, and you will be able to pull out the victory uh, with over that double headshot feed. That's actually not impressive whatsoever, I don't know why I mentioned that at all. Um, so, yeah, actually we're racking up the gameplay here. So, I would say, yeah, it's like a, it's, it's like a 2 out of 10. It's not very difficult, um, but getting a mob is no small feat, so I would say for most people, um, you know, heck with it. Three. It's a three. It's a three. It's a, it's a pretty good gun, but it's not the best gun in the game. It doesn't have the best power or anything like that. So yes, I'm going to give it a three out of ten in terms of difficulty, meaning it's pretty darn easy and that the above average Call of Duty player can probably get a mode with this. My final score is 65 and 10. Please, please thumbs up the video. It is my first episode of the Road to the Mobe series. And yeah, peace guys. Expect more gameplay soon.